It is nearly 2300 miles from Phoenix, Arizona to Richmond, about 34 hours by car and about five by airplane. Trust me when I tell you it's a long trip. Metaphorically, some players have taken even longer trips to get from spring training to the flying squirrels. And then there's the trip that Spencer Bivens took. Pitch, a swing and a miss and Costas is down on strikes. There's the fifth strikeout for Spencer Bivens. We searched online to see if Spencer Bivens, who pitched for the Flying Squirrels last year, had his own baseball card. We didn't find one right away, which might be a blessing, because to list all of his stops over the past decade would require a poster instead of a trading card. Freshman, sophomore year, I went to Lewisburg College, played there. I transferred to Penn State in 14. I transferred to Roger State in Oklahoma. Uh, I transferred back to Penn State to graduate, and then in 19 I went to France. I played over there, and I signed to play in the Czech Republic because I didn't have a solid indie ball contract. COVID happened, and that canceled, you know, the whole world really. You know, I live close to Pittsburgh, so the Washington Wild Things held like a uh, little pod league, like four teams all at their stadium, and I played well there. And then I went to Lexington later that summer in a similar league. And uh, I ended up getting a contract with the Wild Things for 21. So I was, I was with uh, the Charleston uh, Power, I mean West Virginia Power, for two weeks. I was on the road with them for two weeks, and then I got traded when I started against Gastonia at Gastonia. If you followed all that, you have a sense of the kind of perseverance it took to live through it. Bivens has had his detractors who do not understand why he's still doing this. I've had plenty of people tell me, uh, you're dumb for doing this, or you know, you never have you ever thought about doing something else. I know in me what I want to do and what I'm capable of, and I just yeah, I want to see this thing through. Two years ago, when he returned to Gastonia, his fastball was in the mid 90s, which he had never seen before. And much like Dennis Quaid's character in The Rookie, others took notice as well. His manager there was former squirrel Mark Minikazi, and he let the Giants know what he had in his bullpen. Not a lot of guys can, can handle some of the things that he had to go through, and um, you know, some guys it takes a little longer for them to kind of develop into what they're supposed to be. And there was a tangible change from one year to the next, and then the strike throwing was drastically improved. Elevated heater, 94 miles an hour from Spencer Bivens. And there Bivens appeared in 27 games for the Squirrels last year, had a 3.69 ERA, and struck out 72 batters in 78 innings. He's never pitched at the AAA level or above, but by the time he turns 30 later this summer, that's expected to change. I really can't put it into words that I'm, I'm still here and able to be here, because I know there are so many guys that that want this opportunity and that have worked just as hard, if not harder. Um, I'm extremely fortunate. People are going to talk about the, the journey, um, but that's not even going to do it justice. And, and we're all rooting for him. Bivens isn't an I told you so kind of guy, but to all those who doubted his fortitude, the temptation to gloat is strong. Yeah, I have the thoughts, but uh, it's just, I try not to be that person. Um, there's plenty of people I could do that too, but I, I just want it to, to speak for itself. Bivens isn't likely to start the season here in Richmond, but if he does, it may not be long before he gets into his first AAA game in Sacramento. He's thought about writing a book about his experiences and has enough material now, but might be waiting for that final call up to be the last chapter. Don't forget, you can see our preseason preview of this year's Squirrels team right here on April 8th at 730. And if you would like to nominate someone for us to profile, just email us at beyondtheroster at WTVR.com.